branch. The first, the very first uh, branch we, we had was in QC in Mother Ignacia, but we, we relocated here 2013. I'm uh, sorry. Forgive me, facts, please. Uh, we, we relocated here two years at Ayala. No? Two years na kami sa El Terrazo. We relocated kami sa El Terrazo, and we are very happy because uh, the parents of G Force Project are they're all happy because it's more accessible, mas maraming options, mas maraming silang areas para mag so waiting time. And um, why Alabang for branching out? Uh, there's a demand okay. here from the south. They've been the people of the south have been emailing us uh, asking if we can open a branch here. Iba Laguna, iba Cavite, iba Batangas, and. Uh, we, we did our study and last year from our pop-up classes, meron kaming alabang and maganda talaga ang response. And now we are here and uh, marami challenges but it's open now, the grand opening. I hope makasama ulit kayo, ma-invite ulit namin kayo. Wala pang grand opening, which is open last April 7. Soft opening pa lang yan. Teacher G, malaking business ba ang kinikita ng isang dance studio like this? Hindi ba parang seasonal lang to pag summer, yung mga workshops? Mga workshops. Um, when we talk about business, uh, it's a... Uh, hindi ko masag... It's angel season business. I don't know. But uh, when, when we talk about business, you know, dance. I, I always say that dance, dance artistry can be a career. Can be can be a career. When I started, uh, I was only 14 years old, and you know, pag ganon, ano pa ang ginagawa? What will what will ano? What will excite me palagi? And I'm 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 my passion in, in dancing and this craft is hindi ko naman measure. Hindi ko naman measure. Napunta ako dito. My dream was just to, to to have a dance studio like Metropolitan Dance Theater where I started. I wanted that kind of um, home where dancers are very comfortable, you know, spreading their legs, uh, you know, training for training. Isa siyang bahay na para sa training. And then I said, I mentioned it to my husband, and that's my vision. My husband is the doer, and he's the finisher. So. Sabi ko sa kanya ko ano yung, yung what I have envisioned, and then he will make it happen. When we started, there was a struggle because here in the Philippines, it's not part of our lifestyle. The classes, the classes are not like in the states. Not every day pumupunta. Some schools pigi ang dance, but here it's not. It's not. So the first few years, it was really a struggle. How are you going to create a community? Who will you know? Uh, make the dancing part of their lives. On our third or fourth year, we were lucky enough because we were able to create a community. And uh, it's getting bigger each year. When we started the G-Force project, that was 2008. When we started, we only had 100 students. We only had 100 students. And then, our kids class namin sa 100 na yon, seven la. Oh, oh. Ang ika anim anak ko, yung ika epito anak ko pa rin. So ibig sabihin lima lang ang nag-enroll. So sa kids, and, sa kids, uh, five years old, five years old ang youngest namin, five years old ang youngest. So and then after that, next the following year, umakyat na mga hundred ten, tapos na pagkatuwa yung sampo, or hundred twenty five. And then after that, um, we had a partnership. It was year 20, uh, 2011, when we had a partnership with Edsa Shangri-La Manila. For Shangri-La, for that, for it, again, it's a, it's another change. It's another transition. It was difficult. Hindi kami sanay na ganon. Okay, my partners, we can't just go on our own. My partner, okay. So, at sa Shangri-La, Manila. For them, we work on TV. For them, masyado kami masa. But for the masses, masyado kami high end. So, how do you play that game? How do you play that game? Um, the the partnership with at sa Shangri-La, became uh, a major, a major, like a mark for a G-Force project to be a legit project. It created major awareness for the people that we are having <clears throat> dance workshops every year. We had 450 students that time, that time. The year after, at the NAC, 
we are growing. Okay, what's the next step? How do we say that we are growing, that we are expanding? Year 2012, we created our own home. We have a G-Force Dance Center. G-Force Dance Center happened year 2012. And then, we said, okay, since this is becoming really big, let's, not, let's do it in Araneta. The year, it was year 2013 when we did our first dance concert, recital. We call it dance concert because we, we mounted as a dance concert. A dance recital in, at, at Araneta Coliseum. I mean, who does that? Come here, you're not crazy. <laughs> oh, only the crazy ones, right? So we did our first, our first Araneta year 2013. And then a Sundan. And then a Sundan. And then, sabi ko, my goodness, this is indeed the biggest and the grandest summer dance workshop here in the Philippines. Last year, we did it in MOA. We had 1,600 students. And that is such a joy to see. Like these, pe the, the parents and the kids, makikita mo, they're all dancing their heart out. Talagang sabi ko, wow, ang dami talagang, ang dami sumasayo ng mga Pilipino. Pero, you cannot please everyone. So, mar marami na naman kami marinig na, oh, bakit ganyan, bakit ganyan, and all, all the parents. Of course, they're our clients, and that's how we learn in the business. That's how we learn. I know, I know, I know demand from the customers, from the clients, from I know needs nila. So they watch a four-hour show, and we said we discussed it. I discussed it with my team, and that's why now we created the series, the Chief Force Project series, because it's still the biggest and the grandest. But we have divided it into three shows. Now we have June 8, June 12, and June 16. So now the parents can choose which date, or the parents can watch three shows. Kung meron multiple classes ang mga anak nila, but they don't have to wait for four hours. They will watch for two hours. Yeah, and ma 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 masarap siya, masarap siyang ma makita na it's becoming a lifestyle now. Like taking classes is becoming a lifestyle now. Questions? Tuition fee. Okay, tuition fee, Michael. Tuition fee is for the workshop. Eight, uh, when you sign up, you will pay 8500 So we will have 10 days. 10 days with G-Force. 10 days. That's including the preparation for, for the concert. For iShine, we have 6 days. So the kids will be in our studio for six days. Just commit yourself to six days. After that is the stage adjustment, and then the technical rehearsal, which is the general rehearsal, and then the show. And then for the G Force project, the series. So we have two. One is with I Shine Talent Camp, and I'm very happy to be part of that because imagine um, for for I Shine Talent Camp to tap G Force Dance Center. Nakaka, ano, nakaka taba ng puso. And uh, kasama namin ang school ni, ni Mr. C, Mr. Ryan Kayabyab. Uh, kasama rin namin ang engineering for kids for uh, ibang klase training for engineering. And then kasama namin ang art camp ng Papel Mirati, Robert Alejandro. So, I mean, para mapabilang ka doon, napakasarap ng feeling. Masarap ng feeling, but at the same time, kailangan na pagbutihin pa lalo ang aming mga sarili. And then the series. At the Buyuk series namin, it's the same thing, right? Six days, one day for stage adjustment, one day for technical and general rehearsal, and then show. Ten days po. So when you sign up, commit to ten days. Meron mo, meron mo nga bagsak? May hindi nakakasayaw? Pag may, may hindi nakakasayaw. Kasi alam mo, ang, ang, ang mantra namin dito, kailangan makasayaw namin ating tao. <laughs> Yan ang mantra namin dito sa G-Force Dance Center. Pero sabi nga ni Tito Boy, uh, you can make everyone dance, but not everyone a great dancer. Which makes sense, right? Yeah. So, so mamaya, sa 30 minutes na libreng lesson sa akin, nakakasayaw mo yung lahat. Nako! <laughs> but you know, it, work, it, it will work if both ends are committed, right? So you have to commit. <laughs> Labor. Oh, what's that? Labor. But, like, but you, have, you have to commit. Because like with Sarah, I told I we had one one 
section in the concert na storytelling. Kasi, ha, ha, kasi paano mo ipapasok lahat ng mga mga songs na tatak sa kanya forever sounded up? I-invest niya ginawa yun. How will you bring them in sa concert? So I said, let's do a storytelling segment. Let's bring it there. So storytelling. At first, everyone was may apprehension eh. Sa, sa, sa section na yun. Sabi ko, I, want, I really wanted it to happen. So I spoke to her. Girl, you have to commit here. Ihambam natin to. Eh sabi niya, go teach Hong Kong. So nag-commit siya. So ngayon nag-work. Si Anna, nakapanood. Tama? Nag Tama ba? Was that you? Uh, yeah, oo. Oh. So the, the storytelling segment that's like, uh, oh, 30 minutes? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Of, ano, of telling her 15 years. Telling her 15 years. Yeah. 